So we've just relocated 4,500 young people and adult volunteers away from the Jamboree site to here in Seoul over the past couple of days and they're all in hotel rooms and the Jamboree journey continues here in Seoul. And the reason why we've taken that decision is because we were concerned about young people and adult volunteer safety and there was four reasons for that. The first is that we were particularly concerned about sanitation and the cleanliness of, of toilets that were causing severe concerns from us from a health and safety point of view. In addition to that, we were worried about food and those with dietary requirements in particular and the amount of food that was available. We were concerned also about the heat. It's punishingly hot here in Korea. It's an unprecedented heat wave. But we were concerned about the heat relief measures that were being put in place. And finally, we were concerned about medical services. And those four areas gave us concerns about whether young people and adult volunteers were safe. Uh, and that's why we've relocated the Jamboree, uh, our Jamboree journey to here in Seoul. We are disappointed in the organisers and the organisation and we do feel let down. But the Jamboree journey continues for us. At very short notice, we've pulled together an engaging programme of activities and that's happened largely thanks to the help of the British Embassy who welcomed all our participants back over the last couple of days. And because of that, a meeting was brokered yesterday with the Mayor of Seoul, who I met um, with other young people as well. And as a result of that, we've managed to get uh, water activities uh, put in place. We've got trekking activities, city bus tours, cultural exchanges and cultural activities. And we're hoping as a result of that, to connect with the other contingents who have left the Jamboree as well, because we know there's been uh, a number. And the, the people of Seoul have just been uh, incredible. This is a remarkable city. Last night, a local football team reached out, offered us 4,000 tickets for our participants to uh, go and watch a game of football. Uh, and, you know, it, I am truly inspired by the response of our adult volunteers and our young people. When I arrived uh, in upstairs in a hall yesterday as young people were arriving, it was so inspiring just to see their response. They were singing campfire songs, there was someone on the piano. They are a credit to scouting and a credit to the UK.